In the early morning hours of April 26, 1986, the Chernobyl nuclear power plant in Ukraine exploded, creating the worst nuclear disaster the world has ever seen. The Chernobyl nuclear power plant is located about 130 kilometers north of the city of Kiev and about 20 kilometers south of the border with Belarus. It is made up of four reactors that were designed and built during the 1970s and 1980s. And there's also a man-made reservoir size of 22 square kilometer and fed by the Pripyat River was created to provide cooling water for the reactor. The newly built city of Pripyat was the nearest town to the power plant at just under 3 km away and housed almost 50,000 people in 1986. A smaller and older town Chernobyl was about 15 km away and home to about 12,000 residents. The remainder of region was primarily farms and woodland. The Chernobyl plant used four Soviet-designed RBMK-1000 nuclear reactors. Reactors were a pressure tube design that used enriched U-235 uranium dioxide fuel to heat water, creating steam that drives the reactor's turbines and generates electricity. The explosions occurred on April 26, 1986, during routine maintenance check. Operators were planning on the testing electrical systems when they turned off the vital control systems, going against the safety regulations and this caused the reactor to reach dangerously unstable and low power levels. Reactor 4 had been shut down the day before in order to perform the maintenance checks to safety systems. While there's still some disagreement over the actual cause of the explosion, it is generally believed that the first was the cause by the excess of steam and the second was influenced by the hydrogen. The excess steam was created by the reduction of cooling water which caused the steam to build up in the cooling pipes which caused the enormous power surge that the operators could not shut down. The explosions occurred at 1.23 am on April 26, destroying reactor 4, and the reactor components ran it over the area, while fire spread from the building housing reactor 4 to next buildings. Toxic smoke and dust were carried by the blowing wind. The explosions killed two plant workers. Several workers died within hours of the accident. For the next several days, as emergency crews tried to do something on where contained the fires and radiation, and the death numbers increased as the plant workers get radiation sickness. The initial fire was stopped by about the 5 am, but the resulting graphic fueled fire was happening in 10 days and took 250 firefighters to extinguish it. However, toxic emissions continued to be pumped in the atmosphere for an additional 10 days. Evacuations of Pripyat began on April 26, about 36 hours after the accident had occurred. By that time, many residents were already complaining about the vomiting, headaches, and other signs of radiation sickness. Officials closed off 30 km area around the plant by May 14, evacuating another 116,000 residents. Within the next few years, 220,000 more residents were advised to move to less contaminated areas. 28 of workers at Chernobyl died in the first four months following the accident. The prevailing winds at the time of the accidents were spread out and so much of the radiation traveled northwest toward Belarus. But Soviets were didn't release information about the disaster to the outside world. But when radiation levels raised in Sweden about three days later, scientists were able to find out the approximate location of nuclear disaster based on the radiation levels and wind directions, forcing the Soviets to reveal the full extent of the crisis. After the accident, radiation levels spread out to at least 13 countries. Overall, radiation levels spread out to over 160,000 square kilometer. The most spread out countries were Belarus, Ukraine, Russia, Sweden, Finland and other countries. Within three months of Chernobyl accidents, a total of 31 people died from the radiation exposure or other direct effects of the disaster. Between 1991 and 2015, as many as 20,000 people got sickness from radiation effects. The majority of the 5 million residents living in the contaminated areas received very small radiation doses. Some experts say that the radiation poisoning led to greater suffering than the actual disaster. 
For example, many doctors throughout Eastern Europe and Soviet Union advise pregnant women to undergo abortions to avoid bearing children with the birth defects or other disorders. Shortly after the Chernobyl occurred, the trees and the woodlands surrounding the plant were killed by the high levels of radiation. This region came to be known as the Red Forest because the dead trees turned into bright ginger color. The trees were eventually bulldozed and buried in trenches. The damaged reactor was quickly sealed in a concrete sarcophagus intended to remain the radiation levels as low as possible. However, there is an ongoing scientific debate over the how effective this sarcophagus has been and will continue to be in the future. An enclosure called the New Safe Confinement Structure began constructions in late 2006 after stabilizing the existing sarcophagus. The new structure completed in 2017 and 257 meters wide, 162 meters long and 108 meters tall and designed to completely enclosure Reactor 4 and its surrounding sarcophagus for at least the next 100 years. Despite the contamination of the site and the risks, the Chernobyl nuclear power plant continued operation to meet the power needs of the Ukraine until its the last reactor, Reactor 3, was shut down in December of 2000. Reactors 2 and 1 were shut down in 1991 and 1996. Complete decommissioning of the site is expected to be completed by 2028. The plant, the ghost towns of Pripyat and Chernobyl and the surrounding land make up 2600 square kilometers is called exclusion zone, which is restricted to nearly everyone except for scientists and government officials. Thank you.